VTR Dave, I need your help. My jackhammer needs a service. She's been my partner for many years, so take good care of her. Mr. Dagger has told me that he's been through many battles over the years with jackhammer, and there's a few things that need fixing. First of all, the grill, as you can see, it doesn't stay shut. And this hood, well, it's very stiff. I need to use both hands to move it. It's very gritty as well, so hopefully we can fix that. Looks cool though. And these doors, haha, <laughs> see those posts? They're rusted right through. I guess Jackhammer's been through one too many rivers. It's the same on the other side. And look at the state of that windscreen. I guess that's expected after many years of use. We need to remove all of those scratches. Now, Mr. Dagger generally is okay with the bodywork, except for that roof. After many uses of the turret, you can see that it's worn a groove in the top there, so we need to remove that. Otherwise, this looks pretty good. Oh look, it's made by Kenner in 1985. Right, enough of this, let's crack on. It's not obvious how you open this up. There's one screw underneath that I can see. Might as well start there. Now, where are the other screws? Ah, there's two at the front, very small black ones. Hopefully if I remove these, I get somewhere. As always, I like to use my trusty magnetic mat. There's no movement. Okay, there must be some other screws somewhere. Ah, of course, there's one hiding under the hood. Right, let's get that undone. Hopefully that's gonna help. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh, this is proving to be difficult. There must be some other screws. I'm looking everywhere now. Even inside the cockpit. Nope. Ah, of course. There's some under the turret. Right, let's get these undone. A little awkward to get to. Not too bad, though. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of the turret altogether. Let's just hold on by one screw. There we go. Ah, look, there's one of my friends. A good old spring. <laughs> right, hopefully I can get all of these undone and then I can get the body off. Nope. <laughs> oh no. At this point of the filming, I was so frustrated. I just couldn't work out how to separate the body from the chassis. In fact, I forgot I was filming. Uh, it was at this point I just thought, you know what, I'm going to take a break. It turns out that the body is actually welded to the chassis. Thanks, Kenner, you Right, very carefully trying to split open that body from the chassis. There it goes. Ugh. Right, now we've got a chance. The back seems to be coming loose. Fantastic. But that front, what is going on? It still won't budge. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Right, time to remove that grill. See if there's anything behind there. Ah, there's the culprit. The hood latch is being held in place by the body underneath. I need to work out how to get that out. I've applied some heat to the plastic and I'm literally forcing it through. I'm just gonna lift the hood a little bit and then rotate it 90 degrees, and then hopefully that will allow the latch to come through. Go on, just be really careful. Yes, it's loose. Ah, oh, the hood is now removed. And thankfully, that latch looks quite delicate. It's still in one piece. Haha, -ha. and look, there's a screw. Let's get that undone. And finally, <laughs> I can feel that the body is now going to come loose from the chassis. Yes. That was tough, but there's the chassis. Right, I'm just going to remove those guns. Remove all these pieces as well. I guess they're holding the guns in place. Ah, front wheels can now come out. I'm just going to heat up that glue and remove that. There we go. 
Let's just see if we get that mechanism out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and now the rear axle can come loose as well. There's a washer, won't lose that. And then finally, the seating can come out. Ah, there's those rusty rods for the doors. This is coming apart quite nicely now. Let's get the other door done. Yeah, they're really quite rusty. Let's just take that bar off of the grill. And now we can focus on the turret. This is much simpler. You can see the screws here. Yeah, that's coming apart easily. And there's the seat mechanism. They're coming apart nicely. A little bit of heat. I don't want to snap anything here. And there we go, the final screws. Let's just label those. I wonder why I wrote Top Gun. And there she is, jackhammer in all its component parts. There's something very satisfying about seeing these Mars vehicles laid out like this. But we're ready now for the repairs. Let's start with this scratched windscreen. You can see it's heavily, heavily damaged over the years. I've got these Alclad polishing cloths. Never used these before, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this works. I also have some of this compound as well, so let's crack on. I'm starting with the coarsest polishing cloth, applying some water, and the idea is to try and essentially scratch out all those existing scratches. I'm going in one direction, on the back first and then on the front. As you can see, those existing scratches have been removed, but I've obviously added my own. So now I'm using a slightly finer polishing cloth going in the opposite direction. The idea is that each time you want to try and remove the scratches that you last put in. Now I'm using the compound, and hopefully this will bring up the window nice and shiny and transparent. I'm going in a circular direction this time. Ah, uh, I'm not very happy with that. Right, I've removed the windscreen, I applied some heat and the glue gave up. Thankfully, it didn't crack. Let's start again. I've got the finest polishing cloth. Using water again. Ah, oh, this time it's much easier to gain access to that window. Going in one direction, taking out all those existing scratches. That looks pretty good. Applying it on the back as well. You can see my fingers just about. Right, now I'm going up to the next level of polishing cloth. Again, plenty of water. I'm going in the opposite direction. You just need some patience. Back in the front. Looking pretty good. I just keep going. Finer and finer polishing cloths each time. Going in the opposite direction again, front and the back. Just keep going. <laughs> you really do need patience. But I can see that it's beginning to have an effect. That windscreen is now becoming more and more transparent. Look, I can see my fingers. Just keep going. Finer and finer polishing cloths. Yeah, it's definitely improving. All right, this time I'm gonna go in a circular motion. I'm using a very, very fine polishing cloth back in the front. Plenty of water. Ah, yes. That's looking very nice. Okay, finish it off with some compound. I'm using a cloth and a circular motion. And there we are. Very nice. And comparing it to the original windscreen, wow, very happy with that. Right, onto these rusty door hinges. Time for the power tools. Using my favorite metal polish and some wire wool, a great combination. Let the drill do the work. <laughs> There's the wire wall. Right, let's clean up this rod. Ah yes, they've come up really well. Let's remove this scratch from the roof. I'm gonna use the same technique that I did on the windows, using those polishing cloths again, going in one direction, taking out those existing scratches. And there we are, scratches are removed but looking dull. So we just go to the next finest level of cloth, going the opposite direction, plenty of water again, getting there. We've just gotta keep going with those cloths 
just requires patience. Nearly there, circular motion this time with a very fine polishing cloth. We're getting there now. One more cloth, I think. Very, very fine cloth, plenty of water. Circular motion again. Yeah, looking fantastic. That's a good job. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Get ready for an attack on Boulder Hill. Prepare for battle. This is no innocent petrol station. Activate freeze ray. <laughs> no one stops the evil Jack Hammer from finishing his mission. Oh yeah? Boom! I'll sneak in another way. Got me. Surrender, prisoner. Boulder Hill, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. And see the masked comic at your newsagent now. All the parts have now been cleaned, ready for reassembly. There are 40 of them, and also 14 screws with which to put them all together with. We're back in the Boulder Hill garage. Thunderhawk is also getting some work. Like all good garages, I've built a jack out of some vintage Lego. This will just allow me to build jackhammer more easily with some clearance underneath. Right, let's crack on. I'm starting with all the jobs that require gluing. So let's attach this spring and dab on a blob of glue. Just ensures that that spring doesn't pop off when it's in use. I'm also going to glue the windscreen back into the body. You can see where the existing glue was. Just carefully following those existing lines. Using a brush to smooth that out. And then I'm really carefully placing the windscreen back in the body. I don't want to get glue all over that windscreen after that polishing. That seems to be the job done. I'll let that dry. Right, let's attach that turret release. Oh, I hate those springs. Another blob of glue. That's not going to come off. Oh, the wheels. I love the fact they've got good gear on the tyres. Let's insert that axle, add in the wheel. The front wheels have got these spokes. That's for the front gun. And we just lay that on top for now. Talking of the front gun, let's assemble it. Starting with the frame, insert the gun from the front to the back. It should look something like this. Now we can add the spring and the retaining washer, and then clip that gun into the frame. That's the action you want. Repeat for the other side. Now we join the two halves. Those pegs are actually quite stiff, require some force. There they go. Moving on, let's focus on the cockpit. Nice steering wheel. Let's add the cockpit to the chassis and screw that into place. Back to that front gun. We're gonna add that now to the front of the chassis. First of all, we put in these rods and then slide the gun in the middle there and attach those rods to the gun. These rods will finally attach to the hood so when you move the hood backwards it will push the gun forwards and then when you put the hood back it disengages the gun so when you spin the wheels nothing happens otherwise the cogs on those wheels engage with the guns. Very nice design. Let's focus on the body now. First we'll fit those doors. They need to go this way around. Adding the door first, then sliding in that door hinge. It's a little fiddly, but it will engage eventually. There we go. Same on the other side. VGR Dave, what have you done to my jackhammer? I said I wanted it repaired. It's in pieces. Arr. Right, we don't want to get on the bad side of Mr. Dagger. Let's get this body sorted. I'm just going to tape down these rods because they keep falling out. I'm going to turn the body upside down. That's done the job. Those rods aren't going to fall out now. Right, align the back of the body with those slots. Push the body around the turret. 
Now, those door hinges get stuck against the springs on the side of the cockpit. So I'm just pushing down on the top of the body and pushing in those springs. There we go. And then align the rod with the body. Now that was really fiddly. So I'm just gonna screw that body in to the chassis as quickly as I can. A quick test of the doors. Yep, they open and close. Okay, onto the hood. I'm not gonna fix the latch just yet. We want the hood to be positioned here first. Let's pull up these rods. We want to attach those rods to the underside of the hood. So I'm just starting on that left hand one, just slides in and then the right one. There we go. Quick test, we can push the hood back and forward and the machine guns engage and disengage. Okay, let's focus on the latch now. We're gonna add the spring. Now this latch can only go in one way, just like that. But we do need to turn it 90 degrees. But as you can see, that's not gonna be easy. So we need some heat. Let's get it warm enough so we can twist that latch. Oh, this is so scary. But a little bit more force and it will pop in. There we go. Now that hood latch is being retained by the body again. Quick test of the hood with the latch. Yep, that seems to be working nicely. I decided not to re-chrome the grill as I didn't want it to look too new. We do need to attach the rod. It must be this way around. It's quite fiddly though. I needed quite a lot of force to get this back in, but it should look like this. Now, that grill rod needs to go into the hood latch, and then we pull back the hood so that the hinge of the grill can fit under the body. Then we push the left and the right hand side of the grill into the body. Let's get the two screws in quickly before it all falls apart again. These are fiddly. Took me about three goes on each of these. And finally, they're in. Push back the hood. There's one more screw there. Let's get that in as well. And four more screws at the back of the body. Right, I think that's the body now attached to the chassis. Okay, let's move on to the turret. This should be fairly simple. Starting with the gun, we need to add in the attaching rods. Just need to make sure the gun's facing this way around. Carefully attach them. Take the chair, and then we attach those rods to the chair. There's the bottom casing of the turret. We need the chair to slot in there, just like so. And now we attach the top of the turret. Four screws. Thankfully, this is much simpler than the body to reassemble. Looking good. Let's reattach the turret to the body using these washers. The first big washer goes into the top of the body there. And then we add the spring, push it down like so. Then the medium sized washer goes into the turret. And now we're ready to add the turret to the body. Push it on top of the spring, push it right down so it engages. Then the small washer goes over the screw. That's really important. It stops the turret from flying off the body. So let's screw that in now and job done. And finally, the last piece, the air defense weapon. Mr. Dagger, I'm really pleased to inform you your jackhammer is ready. And she's a beauty. Let me take you through what we've done. The scratches on the roof have been removed and polished. The windscreen is now clear, ready for battle. The door posts are rust free, allowing the doors to open and close smoothly and easily without fear of breaking. The hood is no longer gritty and can be operated one handed allowing the armour to be deployed at any time, and that grill stays in place. Mr. Dagger, here are the keys. Enjoy. We don't really know where the world is gonna go. But now everybody knows that you can't stop for too long. Got to keep
keep on, don't really know where the world is gonna go. But now everybody knows that you can't stop for too long. Got to keep. Thanks for making it this far. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, or try some of these other VTR classics. Until next time, stay safe and cheers.